Hey guys, Mike Chamberlain here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's Tech Talk Tuesday. I know, I haven't done a Tech Talk Tuesday in a lot of Tuesdays. But you know, that's what happens when you get caught up with cab overs in really cool old trucks. But um, this one's an important one that I thought I would uh, bring to light for a lot of y'all folks. Um, basically, we're talking about where to shift an 18 speed if you're in a tough pull. Um, because we've experienced lots of failures with the 18 speed, but there is a way to do a tough pull that's the best for your transmission. And we've experienced it with uh, mine haul trucks, some log trucks, and it's not like we have failure, failures all the time, but it's a little tip that can help keep you and keep your drivers from blowing up transmissions when you're in the tough stuff. Because that's what we do here up in the north. We're in the tough stuff. You know what? It's I'd love to say it's all sunshine and roses, but it really isn't. So basically what we're looking at is with the 18-speed transmission, and we're going to take a look inside this truck here, and I've actually got some handy-dandy diagrams. Because the way the torque goes through the transmission at an 18-speed, it goes through your A box and your B box, and what you want to do is have it so when you're in a tough pull, keep all your torque in the front of the transmission. So where the transmission is the toughest, and it's the gears going into the B box that um, that we see all the failures. So if you're in a tough pull, that's where you want to keep it. And it's a little bit different from what you think the norm would be. So let's go in this truck, and I'll uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. There we go. Turn on some light. There we go. Okay guys, so this truck has your standard RTLO 918B transmission. I sell a ton of them, I sell thousands of them actually. It's my main go-to transmission and like most people, if you're not going with an automatic or something different, if you got big weights, you're going with an 18 speed. So here is your shifter. You've got, of course, reverse, low, uh, first, second, third, fourth, and then you can split each one. So it can be first high, first low, you know, and likewise, and then change your ranges into low and then high range. But what the kicker is, when you're in a tough pull, you want to have it in the A box, which would be direct, where is uh, the B box is essentially a gear reduction. Um, the simplest way to think of it is have your splitter forward for the front. Front of the box, splitter forward, it's going to be the toughest. If you have it back, that's going through the back section of your transmission and it's going through the gear reduction. Now, a lot of people figure, you know, you have it back because, you know, you think that's direct, but it's not. That's going through your gear reduction. Whereas if you have it forward, that just stays in the front side of the box. And um, that is the number one key to help save your 18 speed when you're in the rough stuff. And especially, you know, when we're talking 565, 600 horsepower and 2050 torque, um, a little trick like that, if you're in a tough spot, I always have your splitter forward. And the best way to think about it is splitter forward, forward box of the transmission, splitter back, back side of the transmission. And uh, Clint in our shop was kind enough to print me off some, uh, some power, diagrams for each gear and what I'll do is I will scan these and I will share them as well but um, basically if we look on this diagram like here's fifth your fifth gear so fifth gear split low it's going to come in and this dark black line is your power so it comes in your torque goes around through here splits 50 percent through your side gears then it comes back out 100% and then it comes in and splits. And this gear right there, that's where all the failures happen on your back section of your transmission. So what you want to do is avoid, you know, your power going through that gear because that's the weakest link. So if you look at fifth gear high, so that's with your splitter forward, it comes in, goes through the front section of your transmission and whoop, straight out the back. Goes through, straight out the back, doesn't put any stress on that gear or the back section. So that is the toughest um, situation for a pull in fifth gear. So fifth high split gear, which means splitter forward, and that would be fifth gear there, which is 
not too uncommon to be um, pulling in fifth. And like, say for um, for fourth low, you might look at this diagram and say, well, Mike, this one still goes through through the transmission or the back section, I should say. Um, but the difference is, <clears throat> so if we look at the first one, we've got four um, low split, of course, power comes in, splits through the front section, then it comes in, hits that gear that we don't want to use, and splits again um, for the gear reduction to go out the back end. So if we keep it in the forward section, it's going to come through. Of course, the thing gets divert, um, <laughs> stays in your A box. You know, you have your gear reduction there, comes through, goes straight through this gear that is the most common failure. So it goes straight through there and then you have your gear reduction. So there, once again, the power goes straight through avoiding that splitter gear. So, cause that's the gear right there that we want to avoid. And I don't know if my big finger can show it, but that's the one you want to avoid. So you can see here, goes through just behind it and then it gear reduces and out the back end. Whereas here, if you have your splitter forward, and I got a bit of shadow there, it goes in, goes through the gear that is the weakest link and then out. So um, I think that's a pretty good example as to what to do. I mean, the 18 speed transmission is a great transmission. It's tough as nails, but you know, it's like anything, it has a, it has a weak point. I mean, um, and at the end of the day, we put them through some rough and tough stuff. So if you're in a tough grunt and you're like, and you know, it's gonna be really taxing on things, splitter gear forward, just think of it as forward, front box, forward, front box, back, back section or you know front section back section whichever you know if you want to call it forward box back box or forward section back section but just think forward to keep it in the front and it's the toughest it can be so it's just a little tidbit that can help uh help an owner operator keep from having a transmission failure help a fleet from uh having multiple transmission failures and um you know what it's just uh it's just a little trick to um give a little more life to your transmission and hopefully save a costly uh, downtime repair that's not covered under warranty because you know the one <laughs> downside to all the R&D and uh, stress testing that manufacturers do they can basically tell you exactly what failed and why it failed because you know they wreck stuff on purpose just so they can tell so you know when we joke about that you know they always say it was you know operator abuse or whatever they kind of know or, or shock load but um but anyways, if this helps save somebody some money, if it helps save a blown up transmission, my job is done. Anyways, that's it. Peter about Mike here. Remember, when you're shifting your good old 18 speed, keep her forward in a tough pull. You know what? You can shift it normally all the way you do, but if you're gonna be in a tough grunt, forward for forward box, back is the back box. So always tough pull, keep it in the A box, forward, forward box, so. Anyways, guys, I hope that helps. I hope that adds a little bit of clarity. And uh, thanks for watching this Tech Talk Tuesday. I'll try and uh, try and keep on it. And uh, you know what? I got some more good cab over content. I'm uh, just gonna order the parts for uh, for Kenny to get him back together. So um, yeah, if you're following along with that, hope to get some parts soon, or at least find out how long it's gonna take. Because imagine it might take a while so parts guys are kind of busy today and short staff so we'll see if we can get it out today but uh anyways guys takes care thanks for watching catch you on the flip side tranny. <sighs> I don't know. Depends what you're into. I mean, I guess if you want to blow a tranny, you can blow a tranny, but I'm not really into blowing trannies. Yeah. I don't know if that'll go on YouTube. Anyways, I better go.